In this video, we are going to deploy a Nest.js app for free on Cyclic. Cyclic is a cloud platform that provides an easy way to deploy and manage your applications. Their free tier comes packed with some great features. First off, unlike other services, your apps will never sleep due to inactivity, timeouts or delays. This means your app will be up and running all the time. Secondly, there are no hourly limits and until you reach 100,000 API requests per month, you can use their free tier. As of now, Cyclic supports two programming languages, JavaScript and TypeScript, and Python beta is behind the waitlist. Now let's get started with our deployment. First, we need to create a new account on Cyclic. Visit their website and sign up using your GitHub account credentials. If you haven't already, push your application code to GitHub repository so that Cyclic can use that repo to deploy your app. One important thing here, by default the start command in your package.json file will be nest start. Make sure to update it to node dist main as you see here so that it serves the compiled main.js file from the dist folder. The dist folder will be created automatically after Cyclic starts to build your app with the nest build command. Now we can go to the Cyclic dashboard and click on the deploy now button to start deploying our Nest.js application. From here go to link your own tab and select the GitHub repo which you want to deploy. Click connect Cyclic to allow it to connect. It starts to build the app and installs the dependencies and our app is deployed. Now if you have environmental variables you'll get a warning like this. To configure your secrets, go to the projects dashboard. Under the variables tab, you'll find the variables which you need to add. Cyclic automatically detects all your environmental variables and adds their keys here. Or you can add them as a file, so if you have a .m file, you can just copy and paste the content here, that will also work. And after you added the env variables, you need to go to the deployments tab and redeploy your app so that it picks up new variables. Now your app should be up and running. Go to the overview tab and open up the URL of your Nest.js API. I don't have anything configured for the root route, that's why I get 404 response. But I do have a projects route and if I try to access it, we can see that it is deployed and serves the JSON response as expected. Some of the useful tabs in this dashboard are the deployments tab where you can check your latest deployments or initialize a new one, the logs tab where you can monitor the app logs. For instance, we can see the projects endpoint response here that we have just made. And in the environments tab, you can apply a custom subdomain to your app. For example, I can name my subdomain as Portfolio API, and the URL now will be portfolioapi.cyclic.app. And remember that your app will be redeployed on every git commit to the master or the main branch. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching.